we are starting examining to know the trigeminal nerve and that is a fifth cranial nerve this is a mixed cranial nerve so we have to do different tests that are, that are the sensory and motor tests for the uh, testing of trigeminal nerve so uh, what are the tests for the sensory functions one is test for the various sensations that are present in face and then test for the conjunctival and corneal reflexes for motor functions we have to check um, the actions of the muscles of the mastication along with that we have to test for the mandibular reflex or jaw jerk so first of all uh, before doing sensory examination we must know what are the divisions of trigeminal nerve and in which part of the face trigeminal nerve is supplying so uh, we have three divisions of the trigeminal nerve which are supplying the face one is ophthalmic division then we have maxillary division and we have mandibular division so all three divisions have sensory supply on the face ophthalmic division supplies the part of the scalp forehead and then upper eyebrow upper eyelid medial part of the nose tip of the nose and conjunctival surface of the upper eyelid then we, we can see this is maxillary division maxillary division supplies the side of the nose along of the nose upper lip upper jaw side of the cheek lower eyelid conjunctival surface of the lower eyelid and rest of the part of the cheek then uh, mandibular division supply the little part of the cheek and then ear ear lobe most of the part of the lower uh, chin lower mandible except the angle of the mandible angle of the mandible is not supplied by the mandibular division it is supplied by c2 c3 then lower lip lower jaw tongue okay so this is all uh, are the supply of the face by three divisions of the uh, uh, trigeminal lung that are ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular division now uh, let us see how to test for these three divisions so uh, although we can do any of the sensory examinations but here i am using light touch uh, for testing the uh, sensory uh, portion of the trigeminal lung so um, you have to explain the procedure to your subject abhi kisi mein is cotton se aapke face ke alag alag part pe chhoongi touch karungi agar aapko pata chalta hai to aap yes ko theek hai aankh aapko band rakh eyes has to be closed in whole of the process i'm going to see yes 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 so till now i have tested the ophthalmic division now for the maxillary division yes 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 yes, yes. you have to perform yes. the test in the period which then mandibular division yes yes
cornea or the cornea cornea conjunctival junction that is also called as limbus so we will try to touch the limbus portion of the cornea same reaction we will observe and that is blink reflex so here also please don't touch the central portion of the cornea because that may uh, irritate the cornea and may produce keratitis portion so here blink, blink reflex is present in both corneal and conjunctival now come to the test for the motor functions so for that we must know what are the motor supply of the um, trigeminal nerve. and love. so mainly motor supply is through the mandibular division and that supplies the muscles of the mastication except the buxy meter uh, fifth nerve supplies temporalis masseter and medial and lateral pterygoid muscles so to check the functions of the masseter and temporalis we ask our subject to clench his teeth like this okay so after that we will see the answer okay so here I can see, I can feel prominence of masseter and temporalis muscle. So on clenching teeth, you will feel prominence of temporalis and masseter muscle. Second test is, you ask your subject to open his mouth like this. So So we can see uh, mandible comes down and there is no deviation of mandible in case uh, if paralysis of the pterygoid muscles are present, then mandible will be deviated to the paralyzed. Suppose if I, I have paralyzed uh, pterygoid muscles of this side, then on opening uh, opening of mouth, my mandible will be deviated like this. Okay, so mandible will be deviated towards the paralyzed side because pterygoid muscles have pushing effect. Okay, so this is how uh, that is how you test functions of the different. Uh, muscles of the mastication and then you test for the mandibular reflex or jaw gel. Mandibular reflex is a type of deep uh, reflex and that is monosynaptic reflex. So what you are supposed to do, you ask your subject to open, partially open his mouth and you put your thumb on his chin and you do, you know, you strike with the narrow end of the hammer. Thoda sa mouth kula rakhna hai, ha? Jeeba ha nahi hai, mouth kula rakhna hai. So you take all the precautions and you strike the narrow end of the narrow end of the, end of the hammer. So what normally happens? Normally there is closure of mouth or mandible comes up uh, with the when you strike with the hammer. Uh, many times this test is not uh, uh, is not getting elicited due to various reasons. But in case of upper motor neuron lesion, like any other reflex, this uh, reflex become very much exaggerated. So like other deep reflexes, it becomes more prominent in upper motor neuron mesa. So along with that, you know, uh, ophthalmic division supplies the lacrimal glands. So in case of uh, uh, palsy of ophthalmic division or trigeminal nerve, there is decreased secretion of the, uh, decreased lacrimal secretion. Along with that, mandibular division through the parasympathetic division supply many of the uh, salivary glands. So, in uh, paralysis of the trigeminal nerve, there is decreased secretion of the salivary glands. So, mouth becomes dry. So, I think this is all about the trigeminal nerve. Thank you.